Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to focus on controlling the viewport display in 3D as Max. This is really important and impacts how you visualize and work with your 3D scenes. In 3D as Max, perspective views are shaped by default to give a more realistic visualization of your scene, while orthographic views like top, front, and side are wireframe mode, allowing you for precise adjustments. Each viewport has a menu at the upper left corner, divided into four sections. The plus sign opens a general menu. Next is the point of view menu, which shows the current perspective. The third is the shading menu, where you can see the current shading mode. The last one on the far right is the poor view preference menu, which controls the fundamental aspects like switching between shade and wireframe views. To switch between shade and wireframe views, you can use the poor view preference menu or simply press the F3 key. Hovering over a viewport and pressing F3 toggles between these modes. It's a quick and efficient way to change views and essential to memorize for frequent use. Another useful mode is the edge face, which displays the wireframe on top of shade surfaces. This is perfect for analyzing model topology. You can enable this from the purview preference menu or using the F4 key. This lets you see both the shaped surface and the wireframe overlay, which is really helpful for detailed work. Now, you may notice that sometimes the lines in the wireframe or grid can appear jade or crunchy. This problem is known as aliasing. To fix this, you can enable anti-aliasing across all viewports to smooth out these lines. Access this setting through the viewport configuration, either from the views menu or directly from the general menu by selecting configure viewports. In the viewport configuration, under the Display Performance tab, you will find the anti-aliasing quality option. I recommend setting this to the highest level your hardware can handle. This enhances the viewport visual quality without significant performance drawbacks. Back in the PureView Preference menu, there are other really interesting displays modes, like Hidden Lines, which hides lines obscured by other objects, and Stylized modes, like Tech, which gives a cell shade appearance. This can be useful depending on your project needs. Controlling the viewport display in 3D Smats is vital for both navigating and precise editing your 3D models. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.